channel. My name is Sunflower Sims, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Um, so today I am building a really large family home in Newcrest. Um, this is a little bit inspired by um, Urban Sims Foreman's house, um, the one that she finished the Foreman's Let's Play in. Uh, I was, I've been watching that series. I know it's a couple years old, but I've been watching it, and I really liked the house um, that she has at the end of the series. So. I um, took some inspiration from that. So this is a five bedroom, three bathroom house. It is meant for a family of seven and a dog. So it is quite the large family home. Um, I intended this to be for a teenage girl. Well, two parents, a teenage girl, uh, twin children. I, I thought a boy and a girl, but um, again, you can easily switch genders around. Um, and then a toddler boy and a infant, a baby, um, of either a gender. It's a gender neutral bedroom. So you could have your tiebreaker. <laughs> um, so you can, but of course, as per usual, you can always switch around genders and ages, redo the bedrooms, that kind of thing. So here I am um, working on the layout and building the house. It came together uh, fairly quickly. At first I didn't know what I was going to do. Okay, I'm sorry. It did not come together fairly quickly. It took a very long time. I probably spent three to five hours on this build today, which is insane. It is currently 11.24 p.m. while I am doing this voiceover and I am very tired. So it took me several, several hours today to do this build. Um, I actually have sped this up faster than I normally do just because of uh, how long the build is. So a little bit about this house. Um, there is also a built, um, an attached garage, although it's, I guess I would call it semi-attached because there's not a door going from the garage to the house, but the garage is attached to the house, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. I went for like a brown and gray color scheme on this house. I did brown siding with some gray brick. Uh, and then I changed the roof color much later on in the builds. I kind of forgot about it to be honest. But I changed those. And then just placing all the windows around the build. And yeah, so um, while I'm doing this, I guess I will tell you a little story. Something is driving me absolutely insane. And it is the disappearance of my Girl Scout cookies. I had a box of Girl Scout cookies on the counter. And over the weekend, they've gone missing. I did not eat them because it is Lent. And um, the last time I checked, um, you're not... Okay, well, let me preface this by saying, for Lent, I gave up desserts. And the last time I checked, um, my church says that you can have... Um, what you gave up on Sundays, but not the rest of the days. So I was saving them for Sundays and they disappeared over the weekend and I don't know where they went. So somebody is lying to me about where these cookies went and it is driving me up a wall. I am so frustrated and I have no idea where they went and I'm very irritated because I didn't touch them. So somebody, somebody messed with my cookies and I don't know who it was because there were a fair amount of people coming in and out of my apartment over the weekend between me and my roommate's friends. So somebody messed with my cookies and I don't know who. Um, anyway, they're Thin Mints by the way, which are in my opinion the best Girl Scout cookies. Um, yeah. So that is my life. Um, anyway, um, looking through the debug catalog for cars, uh, yeah, this family has two cars. I end up putting in a second one later. There's one on the driveway and one in the garage. Ignore the fact that the garage is lifted up on the foundation. It sucks that you can't build real garages in The Sims 4, but you know, it's fine. I'm not going to complain about that right now. Um, anyway, I put down this beautiful cherry blossom willow like tree I don't know what kind of tree it is it's like a but to me it looks like a cross between a willow and a cherry blossom tree either way I put that out front and then I work on some of the landscaping um 
again just digging around on the dbook menu seeing what I could find anything of interest I was looking for like a minivan because this family is such a large family I figured they needed one and um I hope that just a disclaimer I hope that the video is not like skipping um for you I hope it's smooth and it's just in my editing program that it's skipping weird uh I think that's what's happening is that it's just skipping weird in my editing program as I'm doing this voiceover but anyway um yeah I use these debug hanging plants up on the porch and I um, was looking for some debug plants. I don't think I really used many. The landscaping's a little messy, but I think it's kind of fun. I like it. Um, landscaping is not my forte, for those of you who don't know. <laughs> not a fan of landscaping. Not very good at landscaping, but you know, it's fine. I can build-ish. Um, yeah, so I end up just throwing in lots of flowers. Um, and I think it turned out really pretty. And then I put in these lavenders on the front. And then filling in some more of these pretty flowers around the tree. And as per usual, I forgot to place the mailbox. So when I went to take the screenshots and taking the screenshots, then all of a sudden there's a mailbox in the living room. So uh, I fixed that off camera at the end. Giving this family a pool because this is a very large home. It is a very large yard, a very large family. I figure that they got some dough and they have a big pool for when people come over. You know, because the Sims don't live during COVID. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, that might have been controversial for some people. It shouldn't be, but it was probably. Anyway, um, then I am just decorating the pool. I give them a diving stoop thing. Um, some pool floaties, a little decal on the bottom, a couple of pool ladders. I know you don't need them in The Sims 4. Your Sims just get out the, in and out the side of the pool. But you know, ladders are always more convenient, I think. Putting in some lounge chairs by the pool. Because again, if you're going to have a house this big and a pool this big, you got to have some nice lounge chairs. Um, putting in a grilling area, a trash can, and a recycling can. And then uh, just messing around with the... Um, the concrete out there fixing the fence because I left a gap and we don't want anyone coming in our backyard I hate when random sorry I just bumped the microphone uh, if you heard that I hate when random um, people just wander into your sims backyard so I always fence in my backyard in the sims adding a basketball hoop out front because that's fun um, there is quite a lot of park activities going on in this backyard, even though there is literally a park right next door, but you know, that's fine. I put in a sandbox, um, my version of a sandbox, which I really stole from, I believe, Sim Lissy. Um, so, yeah, putting in some planters, and then putting in a clothesline, and then I eventually put in a hot tub later, but otherwise that's about it for the backyard. And here we are moving on to the interior. So I put in these beautiful hardwood floors. I believe this flooring is from Snowy Escape. I love it. It is beautiful. And then I am working on trying to find a wallpaper that I like for the living room. So I end up going with this one. I like the white paneling and the colors. At first I thought it was kind of clownish, but I end up really liking it. I put in a fireplace as per usual and then I decorate with some snowy escape furniture I love the snowy escape furniture I think it's so cool and modern but also very like cozy looking and I love it so yes I think that it's so fun I love that chair with like the 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 like sheepskin looking look at a uh, blanket draped over it I love this rug sized up put in this big old table from I believe eco lifestyle adding a big plant because why not um i like the way it looked and i just used the nine key and move objects to put it on top of the coffee table um yeah anyway fighting clutter so the living room is fairly cluttered up there's a lot of stuff you'll see that i add a bunch of kids toys later because with five little ones running around you're gonna have a messy house i'm sorry it's just facts um yeah putting in a rug by the entryway um uh, here i am throwing in 
some random toys and then scattering them about um, putting in a toy box I do move it um, I put in a dog bed oh shoot the one thing I forgot in this household was a toy bin for the dog so uh, you'll have to get one yourself sorry um, anyway putting in curtains I really liked these big Bella curtains I believe that's what they're called but they are too big for the shortest wall height so I just was messing around in the, in the curtain menu until I found these from Equal Lifestyle, which I feel like I default to a lot now of days. Um, but I think they're very simple. They have some pretty patterns and they fit so many different kinds of windows, which is super nice. Um, adding some decor. I figured these people are dog people, so they got a dog on the mantle. Adding in some photos on the wall here. Uh, some leaves. I thought those were pretty. I Here I am. I spent a very long time looking for the feathers. I find them eventually. That you know the feathers that when you put them on the wall they, they have the painting of the bird that it came from. Yeah that mm -hmm. took me a long time to find it. I eventually find it and put it back. In the meantime I just scrolled and scrolled and scrolled for a very long time looking for the feathers. I must not have had one of the cheats on properly for me to find it. But in just a moment here, when I am done scrolling like a madman, we move on to the dining room. The dining room is pretty simplistic. The dining room is probably, um, aside from the master bedroom, the cleanest room in the house with the least clutter. Um, but I imagine, you know, in my house, the living room is, you know, where growing up, where all the toys ended up anyway. Um, this is the only true dining area in the house. There are four um, stools in the kitchen on an island five children, four stools. One of them's a teenager, one of them's a baby. By the time the teenager, by the time the baby gets old enough to sit in the stool, the teenager's probably going to be moved out of the house, so you're fine. You don't need five stools. Anyway, why am I so sarcastic in this video? Probably because I'm tired and just annoyed about my cookies. Anyway, moving on to the kitchen that's what it's called um putting in this base i believe base game tile tile wallpaper thing and then here i am playing around with the island trying to get it to match up and line up the way i want it to i could get three two of the sides to blend together but i eventually i got three but i could not get all four sides to blend together properly which was driving me absolutely crazy so I just said screw it and I eventually changed it out um, to like two regular cabinets or counters and then two island counters um yeah there's not a ton of great counter cabinet space in this build in this kitchen because of the big windows but I think it turns out fine I think it's fine I think there's enough storage in the base cabinets that it'll work and you have the really big storage cabinet there on the corner on the edge I do eventually go back and fix the mismatched swatches I thought it was the lighting for a very long time but then I realized that I had accidentally used two different swatches so eventually I go back and fix it I promise um putting in a dog bowl because again this house was built for a family with a dog I mean it could be for a cat you would just need to find room for like scratching posts and litter boxes and stuff a frog I've I've geeked out about this in other videos before but I feel like when you have this many kids one of them is bound to be like mommy let me bring home a frog and these parents I don't want to say they're pushovers but they just want to make their kids happy and if, and if a silly little frog is going to make their kids happy then they're going to let them have a little frog in the kitchen so <laughs> that's a thing anyway um putting in this colorful nifty knitting rug because I thought it looked cute in the kitchen and then trying to find the broom from laundry day couldn't find it search for brooms all I got was the realm of magic ones had to go under laundry day show all finally found it but yeah moving on to the master bedroom I wanted this room to be very tranquil and comfortable and lovely for the parents because um I figure it's like the only room in the house where they might get a little bit of an escape from the five children. Don't get me wrong, I imagine these parents to love their children very, very much. They've provided this wonderful home and this wonderful yard for their children. And as you'll see, they have very full, beautiful bedrooms. However, like any parent, 
they need breaks from their children. And I imagine that this bedroom is their little sanctuary to get away from them. So I kept it pretty simple, pretty clean. Um, I like it a lot. Um, I think it's very pretty. I use a lot of browns, as you can see. And then I think I throw in maybe some green curtains, if I remember. I built this... I literally just finished building this a while ago, but again, this took me like three to five hours to build, so it's a little bit blurry in my brain. Plus, I got my second COVID vaccine this weekend, and I've been having a headache and chills for the past couple hours, so, you know, feeling a little off. Anyway, putting together this bathroom, um, I rearranged the layout of it a little bit here in a second. It is a tight bathroom. But it works. There is a nice jacuzzi for them, a sh regular shower too, and then of course your toilet and your sink. Um, adding in some curtains, I do put in a light, and then I do a little bit of bathroom clutter. I changed the swatch on the shower because I didn't like the red on it. Um, adding in soap from Snowy Escape. Um, different soap that I normally use, but it's nice because it goes against the wall and I don't have to pull out my red shelf because the red shelf, um, is annoying sometimes. Anyway, um, then just doing the downstairs hall bathroom, um, just a half bath with laundry in it, um, adding in some towels in both bathrooms, and then I go for, what do you think? Blue. Blue washer and dryer. Initially I wanted to do red, but it was kind of an ugly orange, so I go for this blue green because I think it's really pretty. Um, and then I do put in an ironing board in here eventually, um, decorating a little bit down here in this bathroom. There you go. There's your ironing board. And then I think we move upstairs shortly. I was going to put a bath mat in the parents' bathroom, but it wasn't really going to work with all the stuff in there. None of them were going to fit correctly, so I just didn't. Um, I put a couple of bikes in the garage, and like I said, I end up putting in a second car. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we put in a hot tub, and yeah, that's about it for the downstairs. Um, yeah, so then I put in another car shortly. Um, oh, there is the um, stairs going off the side of the garage. Um, yeah, and then um, putting in a little walkway with a fence and putting um, matching the sidewalk to the one other driveway. And then, yeah, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to put in the garage. I thought it would be fun for them to have a boat. But I think you need to put the boats in the water on like the Sims 3. You can put them on like the boat trailer thing. Yeah. It doesn't work that way. Um, anyway, um, again, I was looking for like a van. I couldn't find one. So I go with like a little sedan and they have the red van-ish car out on the driveway. Um, and then I rearrange the bikes. Um, you should be able to get them. Um, and just pull them out of the garage to use and then moving on to the upstairs here after I did the chimney um, Like I said the upstairs has four bedrooms um, five children um, Ranging from a baby to a teenager here. I am fixing the roof finally um, I wasn't sure what pattern I wanted to do But I ended up choosing this one and then I do the framing on it um, and then yeah, so that is about, I think that's all for the exterior. Guess we're not moving upstairs. I was really jumping all over the place in this build. Um, yeah, see, I finally fixed the swatches in the kitchen. Um, and then I said to add like a fruit bowl or whatever. Um, because I wanted to put one of those in. And then I was thinking about putting in like a bug terrarium too in the kitchen, but one wasn't going to fit. So I just added a couple other clutter decorations and I added a hutch in the dining room. Um, and then I add in a plant in the kitchen. And now I think the downstairs is complete. Yes, adding in doors upstairs. Um, so for the teenage girls room, I go for the pink banana leaf pattern, which you'll see in a moment. Um, it is um, 
this one and then I figured that the teenage girl was very into nature and outdoorsy I thought maybe she wanted to be a marine biologist so I incorporate some of the hidden objects um island living photos underwater photos um her room is a little tight with the double bed but I think it works fine there's still plenty of room for her to move around and stuff I give her a desk and a computer here in just a moment I give her a like fish bowl thing with like aquatic plants in it um I'm not sure if you can add a fish to it or not but you can have aquatic plants that's fun um I was gonna do this mural in her room but it just wasn't gonna fit anywhere it was too big even sized down like three sizes so there are those underwater photos I was talking about and then I was looking through Island Living because this is the point where I decided she was going to be a marine biologist to see if I could find anything fun for that um, in Island Living. Didn't really find any great wall decorations, but that's okay. Um, adding in a rug, and that is all for her room. Now we're moving on to the twins' room. Again, I imagine it to be for a boy and a girl. I do this really fun um, mosaic stripey kind of um wallpaper thing and then just plain blue walls um it took me a long time to figure out which swatches i wanted to use for the bunk beds and which bottom bunk i wanted to use i had a hard time deciding um because i was trying to get the swatches to, of the bed frame to match but also find a swatch for the sheets that would match um, it'd be really nice for bunk beds if you could choose a frame swatch and then a sheet swatch, but I don't think we're going to get that, unfortunately. That is more of a Sims 3 thing. I put in the desk. I add, end up adding in, like, two diaries. Um, I end up changing the bedding to be, um, the bedding, the bed frame to be more of this light birch kind of color. Add in this modern dollhouse. And then I put in a void critter thing. There, this kid's bedroom is very cramped. It has a lot of toys in it. Um, a lot of activities for them to do, which is good for them. Uh, putting in the toy box. And then I pull out a big rug. Um, yeah, putting in some curtains. And now we're moving on to the toddler's room. I went for a red room for this toddler. Um, I did... Um, a race car theme like a planes and trains and cars theme to this room and I think it turned out cute I give a wablet a wabbit tablet to this child um, I've never actually used them in game but um, I've heard that they are very useful so perhaps you will like them I had a scouting board to the twins room too which is good for them adding in a um, mobile that big bookshelf gets traded out eventually because I want to put in a dresser and that bookshelf is way too big so I put in a smaller one. That is the only bookshelf in the house I think. I'm terrible about putting bookshelves in my build which is something I need to do more of. Um, I trade out the Blarfy for the dog um, one. I couldn't find it and I finally did. And then I put in some planes posters because again going for the trains, planes, and automobiles theme. Um, some dog curtains I believe. I think those are supposed to be dogs. And then here is the nursery. This is the last room in the build. Um, I tried to make it fairly gender neutral. Put in lots of activities in here as well for when the baby ages up into a toddler and the current toddlers can waddle along down the hall to use that block table thingy majiggy. I'm putting in lighting and then I just put in a communal computer out in the hallway along with a rat thing. I forget what it's called. Squeakers or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, um, one more bathroom to do and then we will be moving on to the screenshots. This bathroom has a shower tub combo as baby, um, a, a toddler potty and a sink. So here we are moving on to the screenshots. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss any of my uploads. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys! Music